Guys, in this video I'm going to talk about a new feature that's available in Adobe Captivate 9. Uh, that is an improvement over Adobe Captivate 8. But I want to emphasize this is such a tiny, small feature uh, that this is, number one, going to be a very short video. And um, number two, I don't think this was even listed as an improvement from Adobe Captivate 8 to 9. It's such a tiny feature, but you know, maybe you're someone who's on the fence about Adobe Captivate 9. You're not sure if you want to make the jump to the upgrade uh, or not, or maybe you're almost convinced you're right there and you just need that one reason to make the switch. So uh, maybe this video is for you. So I've got some objects on screen here to act as a drag and drop. We're just going to go into uh, the insert drop down menu and launch the drag and drop interaction wizard and uh, we'll of course select our draggable objects first very simple easy to do and we'll click on the drop targets for each one hit next and then now of course we match up our shapes to the, the corresponding drop targets again very simple to do and we'll get this over with and then just hit finish and now we have a very simple drag and drop what I want to emphasize here is that in the past I've recommended a solution it's a workaround so if you have Adobe Captivate 8 if you click on this uh, video here and I'll just put a card up for that and if you click on this video here you can see how you can get a success caption in other words make a drag and drop interaction behave more like a regular quiz question well the good news is is that this is now a function of Adobe Captivate 9 you now can have not only your failure message but your success message message as well and it's just uh, a matter of making sure that you have a caption for your failure and a caption for your success selected. This option here was not available in Adobe Captivate 8. Again, I have a link for that if you check the cards here and I'll put a link in the description as well to a video that if you're going to stick with Adobe Captivate 8 I have a workaround for this. But if you're like me and you were thinking about upgrading to Adobe Captivate 9 this is another benefit this is another feature improvement as far as I'm concerned so you'll get to enjoy that capability right out of the box and of course like with all drag and drops you can continue to include these drag and drop questions as part of your quiz assign points and of course add to the total and of course report those answers to a learning management system Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. That way, when new videos are out, you'll find out about them. And if you thought this video was useful or helpful or solved a problem for you, I encourage you to also give me a thumbs up.